shall come nails. Nothing bad will happen to my daddy. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Is it? Daddy, Daddy, you're alive. Of course I'm alive. It was only a dream. Daddy, I have a strange feeling about your traveling. I want you to cancel it. Come on, Susan. There's no problem, my dear. Why don't you wait till mom returns from my trip abroad before embarking on yours? Susan, you know your mom and her Dubai trips. She's due to be back in two weeks, and I have an international business transaction to attend abroad urgently. But I just have a bad feeling about this. Are you afraid? Yes, Daddy. But not for me. Daddy, I fear that something bad might happen to you. Nothing bad will happen, Susan. You know, this is what I do. I travel abroad all the time and I always get you and your elder sisters a lot of goodies. But this time, I just have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you see the pastor? No but. And speaking of your elder sisters, they'll be back this weekend from the boarding house on meet and break. That's good news, Daddy. But in the meantime, your nanny will take care of you. But not like you. Now. That's the reason why I want your elder brother to be back so that when I'm not at home, you feel safe with him around. You mean the son another woman had for you Ye before you met my mom? Yes, my dear. God will help us find him, Daddy. Amen. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome, Daddy. Love you. Oh, love you too. Is ready for school today. Yes, Daddy. And you are ready for the airport. Yes, my dear. I wish I could see you up to the airport. It's no weekend, remember. You have to go to school today. Hey, speaking of school, Daddy, I forgot my lunch bag on the dining. Oh, better go get it quickly before your school bus is here. The home side is always punctual. I'll go get it. Good day, Chief. Yes. Who are you and how dare you walk into my compound on and off? Let's just say we are young businessmen who perfectly manages the resources of others. Isn't it? Yes, boss. So, we left you going on a business trip abroad. And we figured you might need our services. I still don't get you. We also gathered that you have a sizable amount of dollars in your possession. 
So, we're simply here to silently, or rather, forcefully, help manage the dollars at your disposal. Now, where is this security? <laughs> <laughs> what security guard? This is 6.30. I killed your security guard about 30 minutes ago. Walk out of this place before I call the police. Drop it or I'll shoot you. Please, you can have the dollars. You and your friends, you can have the dollars. Send me word to the family, and uh, one of these days I will come and see those family that is taking very good care of my niece. <laughs> okay, thank you, sir. All right. Papa. <coughs> very decent girl. Yes, yes, I like her. Shioma, Sir? why do you want to kill me? You want to kill me? How do you mean? Shioma, Sir? how can you be living with a man who has no intention whatsoever of marrying you? Papa, why would you keep talking about the being like this? Please shut up! Shut up! Keep quiet and let me talk! And you know what happened to your previous relationships? All these men, they use you and dump you. The being is not like that. Oh. Uh, same is different. Uh, that was exactly the same thing you told me, Chioma. About Raf, Tunde, Ekane, Musa, and the ones I can't even remember. Chioma, how can you be shuffling from one man to another? How can you? Eh? Papa, the baby loves me. Lie! That's a pure lie. Mba! If he loves you, why didn't you come to ask for your hand in marriage before asking you to now move in with him? Don't papa me! Where does he work? Tell me! Actually, see? for now... In Orlando, ah. you see your life? You see your life? You don't even know what he does for a living. And I'm sure as you're running your mouth, he must have taken you to his village. Uh, it... Will you keep quiet? 
Keep quiet and stop making excuses for him. Eh? Stop making excuses. Shoma, listen. I smell danger. And the earlier you run for your dear life, the better for both of us. And I'm going. I'm here. But be careful. I have warned you. I have warned you. I'm here. Won't you take something? I'm not taking anything. Mama, what is wrong with you, sir? Get out here. Don't even see me off. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Do you believe that? Look at you. Ah. Well, I can see you are now well adjusted and you are enjoying your promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, boss. Your recommendation for throwing your weight behind me as the only thing. Oh, please. please. Come off it. I instigated your promotion not on gender, sentiments, or anything. It's just because I enjoy your zeal, you know, your, your professionalism. It's really exquisite. Yes. <laughs> Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, you know, the fire in you is something else when it comes to your work. <laughs> it yields results, I know. I can only try. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> I promise I will let you down. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't let me down. Because the members of the board are looking up to you. Do you understand? They expect 100% to me. Don't disappoint me. The ball is in your court. <laughs> what can I say? I'll try. Yeah. I'll try. You better try. Well, um, I was meaning to um, tell you something. Or rather say, we discussing something. Due to my health condition, I, um, I will not be coming to the office okay. uh, more often. I... I would expect you to look into things in the office and make sure everything is on point. No problems. Okay. I would um, forward a weekly report to you at the end of every week. And yeah. Probably by the end of every quarter, I would also forward a quarterly review. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> I knew I was. I would always count on you. I knew. It. You're most um, welcome. Okay then. Uh, let me get you something to drink, right? Thank okay. you so much. Won't be long, eh? <laughs> that I don't want your greetings in this house. I want my grandchildren to run to me whenever I come into this house. No, you have refused me my right because you want to remain single. Mama, do we have to talk about this all the time? Yes. We will keep on talking about it, not until you decide to get married. Yes, come in, the door is open. Good day, Ma. Ah, welcome. Good day. Oh, you have come to look for my daughter, eh? Mama. Oh, um, Mama, the kitchen sink is blocked again. Oh, I'll fix it. It'll try. Alright. Ify. Ify. Mama, what is it? So, you want me to die on time, eh? What sort of question is that? You want to lead me to my early grave. You don't want to get married and give me my own grandchildren. Eh? Mama. Shut up your mouth then. Don't mama me. Go to the village and see what mama told she and her children are doing. They are all married and having grandchildren. To power tapas and bricklayers. Come on, mama. Is that what you wish for me? A man 
is a man any day. Get married, if you get married. No, not not with me. I mean, not with all my educational qualifications. I deserve better. There she goes again. Educational qualification this, educational qualification that. Let me ask you. Don't people with PhD get married? Eh? Please. I know the right man for me is elsewhere. Somewhere. Then go and get him! What are you still waiting for? Eh? Oh, you want to wait for Mr. Right? Eh? You want to wait for Mr. Perfect until you get to your menopause and all your face is filled up with wrinkle? Mama, please. Look at that able-bodied plumber. Eh? Look at him right inside your house. Instead of you to make passes at him and tell him that you are young and single and still ready to mingle, you are there posing. Eh? Me? If he, I should ask a plumber out. Don't. Don't. Sit down there. Don't. Oh, don't. Hey. Okay. Wait for Mr. Mana to come down from heaven. Do you hear me? Wait for him to come down from heaven. After all, the Bible said, heaven helps those who really need help. And you need it. And you are You're done? Yes, I am. Okay. So, how much is your money? The situation is that the tap is pulled, so we need to replace that. So, how much is that going to cost? It'll be everything will be like a thousand five hundred. Okay. Thank That's you very much, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Ah, don't call her madam. Her name is Ify. She is young and still single, and she's still searching for. <laughs> eh? Ready to Mama. Mingle too. <laughs> Mama, thank you for the biography. But you see, the young man is busy. Obviously, not interested in this story. Eh, yeah, but he never said so. Uh, well, thank you once again, Ma. And um, have a great day. How long will this embarrassment last? He has gone. If he, is this how you want to remain? Is this how you want to live your life? So what, Mama? So what if I want to remain single forever? So what? It is my life. Okay? You Not see. yours. Lily, yeah. look at where you have gone to attach yourself. Look at where your face has... Hey! Uh -huh. Hey! Hey! <laughs> she wants to remain single. You will remain not in this house. Martin! Get married! I want to use the lap out, gold or copper. Oh, let me see. One original one. Ah, you know, it's an original gold. I bring for you my customer. Alright, make a test them. You see, it's an original. So, 
That's okay. How much is it? 100,000 I too much. Ah, you know too much, my customer. Not this one, this one, goes. I know this anything. How much? 80,000 less. 100,000 there. I was surprised to still see you at, in the office at this time of the night. I thought you'd have closed by now. I can't hug her. Close by this time. We we know they close early at all. She you know no say that this time market they move. People where they come from abroad overseas, at this time they, they go change money. We know they close any. We need day here 12, 1, 2, 3. Sometimes we they sleep here. Hey, cash can you? Come. Make I say how much you bring for me. Five million. Five million. And I want you to cut me a good deal. Yeah. I'm okay, I want change money. Yes, dollar. How much I want change? Plenty dollar. So, Walai, money plenty. Ah. You get money plenty, where? Walai, money plenty, Walai. Walai, money plenty. Okay. Walai, money plenty. Okay. Walai, money plenty. Okay. Walai, money plenty. 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 Walai, money Yes, I get them. I get them. But if you know complete, I will call my boys, then go come. They will bring them here. Sharp, sharp. Okay. They will bring them here. No worry. Make a call my boys, then they come come the money. Boys, that's for now. Wait till me dead. Who be you? Wait till me dead. Hey! We hear you just did a $60,000 transaction. Where is the money? Hello boss. Rahim. Good job guys. Okay. Inside the office, all your men have been killed by my men. So you can see, we have this whole place surrounded. So you killed my men! Hey, you killed my men! My men are there outside. I didn't look for customer, they come back. I no go fit give any money for here today. Well, lay, I no go fit. <laughs> well, lay. Hey! <laughs> Madam! Don't underestimate us. We are professionals. Before I stepped into this office, all your men on the streets were killed by all my men. So you can see, nobody is coming for you. Where is the money? I know go fit hinder, but lay. He will man the corner, but they she. Kai, I will collect your gun today. I will kill all of them. Kai, how? Hey, give me the gun. Give me the gun. Kai. Ah! Take it easy. Take it easy. Easy, mala. Take it easy. Now, let me tell you a brief history about yourself. I know that you have eight daughters from four different women just because you were looking for a male child. Finally, your fifth wife bore you your only child, Musa. So, I could still kill you. So, you think that me I be a Haboki? Well, lay me have your Bungi Haboki. I will kill you. Tell. I will call the police. Hey. Before you make that call, I'll have you know that your only son, Musa, has been kidnapped by us. What did I talk? What did I want to Musa? Talk. What did I want to Musa? What did I talk? Kai. <laughs> Simply put, we have superiors running this whole operation. 
and in the event that we don't get back safely, plus the dollars complete, your precious son Musa will die. Put the boy on. Yes, sir. Hello? Musa? Musa? Baba, Baba, help me, Baba, Baba, help me. Hey, hey, Abuki, I beg no kill my son. I beg. I beg no kill my son, I beg. I beg. I beg. I will give you the money complete. Everything, idiot. I will give you. Take everything. I beg no kill my son. Okay, I beg no kill my son. No kill him. requirements boss I honestly don't know how we lost out on that deal you know what I'm say? there's been this rumor running around this about your inefficiency I let it pass but it's true it is true because your lack of good judgment and delivery speaks for you I'm sorry boss I will make amends. <laughs> you better do. You better make amends. Because there are a thousand and one of them out there waiting, yearning to sit on that, your position. My point exactly, boss. Is what? What? That you were sabotaged? As much as I hate to play the blame game, boss. My resolve leans towards that direction because I put in my all, my very best. That deal was asked to take. Honestly, I... I don't get it. Me neither. 
could be as a result of some corporate espionage by a rival company, or worse still, someone within our very own company could be trying to outrightly sabotage my efforts at moving the company forward. So that they could occupy your position in the company? I couldn't agree more. But whatever the case, whatever the situation, I promise to get on top of it. And when I do, I will most definitely get back to you, boss. In the meantime, I beg to take my leave, boss. Please, do enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night, Tungazai. Good night. Thank you, boss. Young man, I called you in here to have a very important discussion with you. Yes, ma'am. I'm only yes, ma'am. You know my daughter? Yes, of course I do. Good. Do you like her? Uh, <laughs> I... Uh, how do you mean, ma'am? I mean, do you like her as a woman? Oh, come off it. I see the way you look at her. So tell me, do, do you like her as a woman? Honestly, madam, I think your daughter is a very beautiful woman. And I'm sure that uh, someday she'll make an exceptional bride to a man. Hmm. And uh, why isn't that man you? Uh, what? The question is, do you like my daughter to the extent of wanting to have a relationship with her? Yes, madam, but uh, she's highly educated and she works in a big office. Let's just cut to the chase. Would you like to marry my daughter? Uh, well, ma, the truth of the matter is that uh, the question is, um, a, uh, anyway, I... leave that to me. I will take care of everything. Answer me, yes or no. Yes, ma. Yeah. But honestly, ma, I'm not a match for your daughter in any way. Do not worry about that. Leave that to me. Just let your wooing game continue. Hmm? Darling, and who do we have here? Tell my account, remember calling you because my sink is okay. Yes, uh, she. Uh... Yes, I did, my daughter. I invited the young man, at least he should come and pay us a visit occasionally. Hmm? Is there anything bad about it? Whatever for. Mama? Mama is in charge now. Be nice to him. Huh? <laughs> I see you have been entertained. Oh yes, yeah. your mother has been so kind. <laughs> My mother is a good host. <laughs> Do you know that she's also good at so many things? Um, well, I and sometimes she can be very, very manipulative. Oh. And most times I look out for you, sweetheart. And I want to give you the best. Or is there any crime about it? Nothing, Mama. And, but have you ever stopped for a moment to think that I am an adult, that I can take care of myself? And as an experienced mother, I want the best for you. Yes. How interesting. <coughs> oh! Pardon my manners. I forgot we have a guest. Uh, so, um, Brahma, I am sure my mother and I are interested in us to look at. Ah, uh, madam, I... Oh, cut off that formality. She is iffy. 
Sweetheart, his name is Frederick. <laughs> so we are at first name basis here. So, Frederick, um, don't you have anything interesting to do with your life other than sit here and watch this silent war between my mother and I? I'll be sister. This is not how to treat a guest, Ife. Whose guest? Mama, whose guest, I ask you? Yours or mine? Now look here, plumber, Frederick, um, or whatever the heck they call you. I don't know what my mother has been telling you. And frankly, I don't care. I am not interested in, in any sort of matchmaking game from the gutters, okay? I am not. If you. If you. Mama, don't even go there. Please. Off my sofa and get the hell out of my house! You fight all the cops. You will not dare do such a thing. Young man, sit down! Mama, watch me! Get the hell out of my house! Out of my house! I really appreciate it. Anytime you need your drain fixed or your pipes up, just call me Frederick. Get out! It's alright. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Mama, you have just done it! American dollar. Yes, sir, Uncle. American dollar. Yes, Uncle. Not even Naira. <laughs> yes, sir, Uncle. Hey. Hey. American dollar. Let me put it in my pocket quickly. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um, <laughs> so you remembered to bring something for me. Hmm? Despite all my daughter and I did to you many years ago when you were staying with us. Just barely a few months you lost your parents. Ah. Uncle, okay, so because your daughter fought me and you threw me out and I had to pay my way through school, does that mean you're no longer family? Ngozi, I feel very guilty. I feel guilty. Uncle, all that is in the past now. You're my late mother's brother. You and your daughter are the only family I've got left. We treated you very badly. We treated you. We're supposed to know that. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, what about my. You're talking about yourself. What about my father's family? They not only threw me out, they also had all my father's properties sold. Because I'm an only child and a female at that, Uncle. But still, it doesn't matter. See? We shouldn't have thrown you out in the first instance. Your late mother was my only relative. And moreover, you were very young. You knew next to nothing. Uncle, but look at how I turned out. I work with a huge advertising <sighs> firm. I travel all over the world. I live in a big house. This, actually, this is actually one of the sitting rooms in my house. Uncle, so what are we talking about? I'm doing fine. Uncle, uh, lest I forget, I have good news for you. Very good news, Uncle. What, what good news? Guess what? My fiancé. He proposed, Uncle. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 because you know your uncle very well. My life is just very straight. So, which one? <laughs> the very one you know. Emeka, he proposed to me. And I joyfully accepted, Uncle. 
That young man you introduced to me. Yes, sir. You said he's working in one of these their big oil companies in there. What is it? Abuja. Abuja. Yes, Abuja. <laughs> so he's serious. Very serious. God bless that man. Amen. God will bless that young man. Amen. And God will bless your marriage. Amen. 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 How far have you gone with my building project? Oh, 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 I forgot to. It's going on smoothly. I trust in, you. In fact, it will soon be ready. Are you serious? Ah. You see, we want to make it look like a Uibo house. <laughs> I trust you, Uncle. I trust you. I but, trust but you. It's only that we need small money to finish it up. How much are we looking at? Uh, 2.5 million. Oh, um. Um. I'll pay, I'll credit your account on Monday. Will that be too late? No, it will not be too late. Ha, uh, you've forgotten about your uncle. Even the one you have given to me, I'm still um, using it. So Monday is very fine. I trust you, uncle. <laughs> uncle, on that note, what do you want to drink? What do you want to eat? Let me go get it. You must leave me alone. The news you have given to me is, uh, is bringing happiness in my belly. Uncle, I am you out. Okay, what do we do and do this outside? Yes, like, later. Where do you want me to go? Where do you want me to take you? Welcome, man. <laughs> Thank you. I man. hope your stay there was very, very smooth. Oh, man, Eugene. What can we say? Yeah. <laughs> I wish your mother was alive. Oh. Shema. Sure, I've been thinking. Thinking about what? About you, of course, my daughter. I detest your lifestyle with a passion. How can you stay without work or skill? Papa, you know I dropped out of school after I had a pregnancy years ago and the miscarriage. And ever since, and in spite of my pleas, you totally refused to go back to school and complete your education. So, what are you getting? Oh, simple, simple. I've come to take you home with me because I've spoken to Mama Emilia, the teller. In fact, for your information, I've already paid her to teach you tailoring <laughs> for three years as an apprentice. <laughs> Papa. Why are you laughing? Me. Me. Learn tailoring. Mba. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Learn tailoring. Papa, you girl of my caliber learning tailoring. Mechiono. Mechiono. Pop your mouth. What caliber are you talking about? Does a girl without education or skill belong to any caliber? Gwam. I can't. Shema, please, my daughter, go and learn a trade. And stop letting that stupid boy deceive you. He will use you and dump you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That is why I want you to learn a trade. Get married and get me grandchildren. Eh? Don't forget you are my only daughter. This grandchildren thing. I'll have you know that the evacuation carried out on me after my miscarriage years ago damaged my own papa. Shema, what do you mean by that? It means that I can't have children of my own. Don't fear what? Hey! I'm serious, Papa. So, how do I get my grandchildren? Just stop talking about grandchildren. Hey! Bam, 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 bam. Hey! Let's talk about something else. How do I get grandchild now? Mama, I hope it won't take so much time this uh, this time because I really don't want to see another display of um, Leafy's anger. Are you not in? My daughter is plain hard to get. Really? Yes. I know her very well. She likes you. Else she would have walked you out the moment she stepped into the house. What are we going oh, to Sorry, Ma. What am I going to do to get through to her? Now you are showing the spirit of being a man. Listen to me. I have a strategy that we are going to make use of. Hmm? And I'm sure it is going to work out. 
36. <laughs> hmm. Baby, let's go. No one will be late. I was just trying to get my new girl done with. the plumber. He needs more money to finish up. Uncle, let's do this some other time. You can hear him moaning now. Huh? Uncle, the plumber wants to finish your work. Okay, how much are we looking at? Like 600,000 naira. 600,000? Uncle, okay. I'll credit your account tomorrow. What about that? Uncle, I'm running late. Be cool. Huh? Um, let me find you something about camp. But the thing is, oh my, I don't have any naira on me. Uncle, you help me manage um, this hundred dollars. Huh? Uncle, we go. Please, you can hear him honey. Uncle, please. And when you please lock up, Uncle. Ah, she's there. Look, I cannot kill this girl for me. Every time, it's always horrible, 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 horrible. horrible. Call up Frederick after what happened the last time. Yes, I quite agree with you. Get another plumber to fix it. Where will I get another plumber to call from? Mama, actually, I was wondering if you could like call Pat Not on your life. Not after the way you humiliated Frederick and walked him out of this house. To cap it all, you had to pour the icing on the cake, insulting me before him. Mama, I'm sorry about that. I already said that. But we can't just leave the Did I hear you say we? Young lady, you have to rephrase your statement again. Do you hear me? Remember that you are the one calling shots in this house. The last time I saw you, you told me that you are grown up to take good care of yourself. Remember those were your words in this house. So, do whatever you can. Do you hear me? Excuse me. Hello, um, this is Sifi. I 
actually my, my sink has gone bad again so I was wondering if oh yes tomorrow will be fine thank you
I know you're just saying that because my mother has put some trash in your head Please, about for once, me. Just leave your mother out of this, okay? And I don't think it's right to call what I feel for you trash. I think your mother's just smart and open enough to see real love when, when, when it stares her in the face. It's a pity that um, the, the status divide between yourself and myself and let you see that. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Did you just say you love me? Yes. If you heard me right, my heart has been trying to reach out to you for a long, long time. I didn't know what to do, that's why. I was buying you all those things, the chocolates, the flowers, and... You're my secret admirer? Yes. If you... I... The other day, when I was fixing your bath, and... and your boyfriend... you were speaking on the phone and he broke your heart. My heart broke into a thousand pieces. If only you see past what I am, I know I'm just a plumber, but if you see past that for a second, then you'd realize that all I am is for you. My heart beats for you. <laughs> yeah. And I, I knew, uh, I think about that uh, with the moment to that. Uh, you have a nice night. Yeah, you too. I just uh, take care of yourself. Yes. Says, says the moment. Mm. I guess not. Gosh! If you, why don't you make yourself happy for just once? Is it a crime to be happy? Mama, I, I don't even know him well, and I don't know what I feel for him. I, I'm can, yet to you, develop. You can tell yourself lies if that will make you feel better. What do you mean? You, How do I mean? You have fallen head over heels in love with Frederick. Yes. What are you insinuating? I saw the way you were staring at him with passion all over your eyes. Look at you. You are already blushing. <laughs> this is not just a mother's intuition. I know the colors of love when I see them. Hmm? Why don't you allow yourself to flow in the inferior of, 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 of love and make yourself feel better, my dear? <laughs> Master! My daughter, allow yourself to flow, flow. Into Mama, the stop! I'm so I'm just like, my baby is in love. I like to flow, flow into the love. Mama, stop! Oh! Try to take it. Welcome, sir. Oh, thank you. Pleasant surprise. Oh, yes. I, I met your housemaid and say you were in the kitchen cooking. So when I perceived your room, I decided to sneak in. <laughs> Welcome, sir. What a pleasant surprise. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Susan, I see that you are visiting your elder sister's best friend. Yes, sir. <laughs> so how about Stella? I have not seen her for a long time. Well, Auntie Stella is fine. Just that she's angry with Anton Goji because she didn't come to see her sister. Mm. And you, why haven't you gone to visit her? But Uncle, you know now, it's my work. Uh -uh. That is no excuse. It's no excuse. You must find her. Find time to go and visit her. Susan, don't mind her. 
Don't mind her. She doesn't even visit me, the uncle. Uncle? Ah. <laughs> that reminds me. Have you made that time to go and see your cousin as I requested? Oh, no, uncle. But the thing is, anytime Susan comes around like this, I usually send gifts over to her. Trust me, uncle. Gift, to gift, to gift, to gift. That is what will solve the problem. Gift. I need you to talk some sense into her head. My only daughter is now wayward. What? Ah. Now listen, the other day I visited her. I saw her smoking Indian hemp. Igbo? You don't see her. Oh. And she's mixing with criminals. Goodness. Ah, my goodness. Is that not enough reason for you to go and talk to her? Visit her and talk to her? Or you want her to kill me? Of course not, Uncle. I'm, I will definitely go over there this weekend to speak with her. Ah, please. I will. Go. Please do. I will. Hey. And uh, you, Susan, anytime you visit her, please try and talk to her from your own age. I will, sir. I didn't know things had gotten this bad. Oh. Oh, wait, no, Uncle. Wait until I... she kills me, then oh, you no, know. No, 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 no. I must speak with her over this weekend. Over the weekend. Uncle, let me take you out and tell you your uh, wine. Please, please. Give, give me, let my mind calm down before before Choma will kill me. She will never kill uh -huh. me. Please let me finish up with the cooking. All right, okay, let me attend to my uncle. I just don't know what to do. I'm so confused. You know you don't need all this because of your health conditions. I don't know why your father is like this anyway. He led his own life without anybody's interference. So I don't see why he should choose for you who you are to marry and who you are not to. Ladies, what's up? Susan. Susan. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, fine. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. I think I should take my leave right now. Take your leave. Yeah. I hope you're not leaving on my account. Um. No, 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 not at all. I, I have a few places to touch. That's all. Yeah. Sure. So where have you been? Weep, should I weep? 
You've 